Hey guys, it's Austin, and today I want to show you a lens that you have probably never heard of. So this lens is called the Jupiter 8, and it is a Soviet lens. Now the cool thing and weird thing about this lens is that you can actually unscrew it. You can unscrew it even off the mount. So it's a little bit interesting about this lens, but what I wanted to talk about specifically is that this lens is amazing for portraits. Seriously, when I started taking pictures with this lens, it completely changed the way I look at vintage glass for portraits. My friend was always carrying this around and I tried it out and it has become one of my favorite lenses to use for portraits. We've done a couple different model shoots and the most recent one, we took a lot of video and how well that this lens flares, it's absolutely beautiful. By the way, this isn't actually my lens, this is my friend Peter's lens, though thank you to Peter for giving me the opportunity to use and learn about this lens. Okay, so a little bit more information about this lens. This lens is a 50 millimeter, and it's sometimes abbreviated as five centimeters, back in the, when they didn't use millimeters for lenses for whatever reason. And the aperture is F2. However, I wouldn't actually use this lens at F2. At F2, it's a little bit hazy, and it flares so much, guys, that you don't really wanna use this lens during the day. It is specifically for nighttime, and the way it sort of renders sharpness and softness together is what makes it perfect for portraits. So for a good portrait, we wanna have smooth skin and have as little imperfections as possible. If you notice on this image, uh, I took this picture of this girl uh, putting makeup on at a bus stop and you can see like through the glass, uh, there's, there's like this uh, water condensation. It looks very sharp and very detailed. Whereas her skin is actually very soft and it just goes together really well. Models have asked us to do surgery on their face, uh, which we don't wanna do. So we can use this lens instead to take care of that for us. So this is gonna do the surgery for you. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the video, enjoying the footage. If you like this kind of content, then make sure you smash that like button and subscribe because I wanna tell you more about all these great vintage lenses and film photography stuff. Whenever a light comes in here, it creates this interesting flare. It's like this soft flare, soft halation, and it really makes your image look a lot more cinematic, makes it look a lot more unique. Uh, I haven't seen any other vintage lens that really flares quite like this one. Some of my other vintage lenses, they do have halation and stuff like that, but this one just, I can't really put my finger on it. It's quite special. So yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this footage. It's it totally blew me away. Um, it sort of adds a bit of a uh, pro mist type feel, sort of a glow, dreamy glow to your images, uh, which is something that a lot of people do with filters nowadays. But this lens is basically the OG uh, pro mist filter, you know? So that's definitely the first reason why I love this lens. Uh, second, I guess it's just like, it's very small. This lens is extremely small, extremely lightweight, and produces an amazing image. Um, next, I wanna talk about sort of the history behind this lens and the build quality. So the history is this lens was modeled after a Carl Zeiss sonar design. Uh, the, Soviet, the Soviets decided to copy uh, Mr. Zeiss's design, which they chose the right person to copy because uh, he makes some really sharp glass. And I will say that this lens is actually really sharp sometimes. So that's something I really love about this lens. Uh, make sure that you stop it down when you're using this lens. I usually like to shoot it at f2.8 or f4, even during nighttime because f2 is just a little bit too hazy, too soft. Um, and yeah, that's basically the way you shoot with this lens. Uh, <clears throat> I'm really excited to try out this lens. Uh, <coughs> I'm really excited to try out this lens for more video applications. Right now, I've only done mostly photos, but the video that we shot on this just turned out so good that we had to make this video to show you how like amazing this lens is. 
because I think if you put this on a cinema camera, you're just gonna get crazy, crazy results. Something that is a little bit inconvenient about this lens though is focusing. So focusing is a little bit hard because it's actually a screw mount and you can actually screw it in, like I think I just did, uh, too much. And it sort of takes a little bit of oomph to unscrew. And if you screw it too, too far, it's gonna fall off. It does have a very close focus distance, but it also means that a little bit of screwing will go a long way. And it's kind of hard to set up this lens to a follow focus or something like that. So definitely shooting video and trying to get your portraits in focus is a bit of a challenge with this lens, no doubt. It's, it's pretty hard, it, it gets stuck a lot, okay? And this thing just, you gotta be careful. It'll fall off and I can, sh actually I don't wanna reconnect it, but anyway, this thing easily falls off and yeah, I think that, that about does it for this lens review, lens update, whatever you wanna call it. Definitely don't sleep on this lens, guys. I see this thing going up in value. Um, you know, I've bought contact Zeiss glass over the past two years and both of them, actually all three of my lenses that I've bought have gone up in value. So these, thing, these things aren't being made anymore. Grab one while you can and uh, get yourself some really cool portraits. I hope you guys got something out of it. And if you want to see any more videos, make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, and don't unscrew this lens all the way if you get one. Be careful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.